Hello, my name is Carrie Mahan and I am from Pennsylvania. And one thing I would like you guys to know about me is that when I was four years old, I had a massive orange size brain tumor in my head, which resulted in a number of medical expenses, literally and figuratively, including hydrocephalus and a VP shot, which is in my head. And I bring this up because it really influences my performance art and my acting. And I hope that it can kind of influence me to do and move as far through the entertainment industry as I possibly can, kind of building from this, building up strength from this kind of flaw that happens within my life. So enjoy. Why are you mad? Because I tell you, I you're really good. Nice compliment on you. The thing is, Dave, it tore your boys up. It tore you up. And this stuff never happens in college. Tar doesn't know what love is. Abandoning my team. Came to me. She doesn't know what love is or commitment or what my guilt is. Because you're you're going off about how I'm too nice, but Beth doesn't understand love. That's what people sound like when they're high. Yeah, because the only time I have something to say is when I'm high or I'm hysterical. Commitment, they are hard, Dave. Talking about them is hard. Not with your daughter, not with your team. It's always the trust talk or the honesty talk. Easy to be cynical. The whole school is cynical. Every step. It was go down there, go to those kids, make them confess. You tell your boys to be good, and you tell them to be honest. And it works, you know, because nobody had to put them to the thing. I'm standing over Aaron in a hospital because he tried to kill himself. Chance they get to lie, to really, really lie. They could have. Come to you. It made sense. Because they know you're a good guy and good guy. Gave in. That was my fault. I gave in as a coach and as a friend. But when people start coming to me, telling me Don't what to you. do about my team, not about what I do for them, how I do it. That wasn't your fault. What do you want? What do you want me to stand here and spew shit so you can feel good about the guy you married? I have the right to talk to you. They're not your wife. She said that. Am I what am I supposed to cheer for you? Because you've got those people too. Well, Jones wanted me to tell your boys to lie to the police. She wanted me to give them one of your talks about fidelity and unity. I don't know what she wanted, but I would have never told them to lie. Have you ever tried to find out the truth? The truth isn't cynical.